a two-story wooden and concrete house at the corner of Curacao Street and Cemetery Road, which residents say has been abandoned for months and was occupied by homeless persons, went up in flames just before midday on Monday. Residents say they saw a homeless man leaving the house shortly before smoke was seen coming from the structure, which had no electricity. I was upstairs, and um, after a little while, smoke started to come in here. So I thought, well, it was a fire of burning fire or something garbage. When we came out, like everybody was out there and they would start saying, um, the, the house is catching fire. So we came out. When we saw it was nothing alarming at the beginning, but it was a little bit of smoke. And, but after a breeze came, because you see it's being windy these days, uh, fire just popped out. Uh, and when we saw the fire, I hurry called the firefighters. And um, before they reached, it was catching fire, catching fire. It came to a point where all the fence from our side was catching fire. So thank God the, the fire trucks came on time. I am very uh, grateful for that because if they were not on time, it would be a definitely another story because the fire was done passing to our side. And as you see, this building is a um, wooden building, so it would be a different story. The fire came dangerously close to Cotto Lumber Yard, which is adjacent to the property. The foliage along the fence was destroyed by the blaze. Shyla Perez called the National Fire Service when thick smoke began saturating the air inside the lumber yard. All of us had to come out because the smoke was um, in here. It was, thick. yes, it was thick, a black thick smoke, and then the ashes were coming in. So all of us had to go out at the back, or some of us went over the side, mm -hmm. but it was a really um, scary view. And for me, it was the first time seeing something like that. So the kids were very scared, even my son and the others were like, we're gonna catch fire, we're gonna catch fire. But then we managed to, to calm them down. But yeah, it was really a, a sad view. As the fire raved, it became dangerous because there are up to 12 families who rent apartments within the lumber yard. I rent small rooms, not big, but um, each one of them have a stove and a gas tank and a refrigerator. So the worry was that if this place would cut, have caught fire, it was definitely devastating. And then the time it took the firefighters to off that fire, they would not be able to off this on time. It was too truck for that small house. So now our mind was, imagine this big place. And most of the wood is pine. And as you know, pine is a quick catch fire. When we checked with the National Fire Service earlier today, a report determining the cause of the fire had still not been prepared. Dwayne Moody for News 5.